Hi Cancer, welcome to your June 2021 Tarot Weekly Reading. For those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Badison Intuitive Tarot. Also, the first two weeks of July, from July 1st to the 17th, I'm putting private readings on time out because I'm taking my kids camping, so I won't be available for that. Also, this is a general reading, so do take what resonates, leave what doesn't, and if it does, there's an option for the extended linked at the top of the comments below. Also, every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live and I do an all signs reading. If you want to be a part of that, do set your notification bell and remind you for when I go up. All right, what do we have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. What do we have for my Cancerians? What do we have for Cancer? June 2021, the week of... Also, if you haven't seen your June monthly, I will post it in the comments. It was a good reading. One more shuffle, please, for my cancers. Let's rock this deck for the adorable Krabby Patties. Your challenge this week, Cancer, what is it? The Four Pentacles. You may be having difficulty letting something go in order for something new to come in, or you're holding on to something that just doesn't need to be held on to anymore. Maybe you're, you're worried about your finances right now, or you're staying with a job due to the stability, but it's not really, really bringing you a lot of happiness or the abundance that you're looking for. We'll see what's going on. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. What's in your recent past, Cancer? The Nine of Swords, yep. The Five of Cups, Scorpio energy. And the Page of Swords. What's in your current energy? The Page of Cups, cute, I love that card. The Ace of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. So you're being given a new opportunity, Cancer, but you're needing to let something go that's blocking that new abundance, okay? So what's in your near future? The Ten of Wands, the Sun, Major Arcana for Leo, beautiful, and the Two of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Wands, Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. Ooh, Cancer. The moment you let go of whatever this is, you're replacing it with that. Beautiful. Don't you feel that fire and energy coming off of this card? And your outcome, Cancer, is the sun. The most happiest, lovable, joyful card you could have gotten for your outcome. And it's a major arcana too. Some of you guys could be born towards the end of cancer season, just kissing Leo season, where you have Leo in your chart. Okay, Leo rising, Leo Venus. Now let's take a look at your past. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. You gained clarity on a situation that brought you a lot of pain. Okay, whatever you learned didn't cheer you up. It, it made you um, feel really doom and gloom, and you may have been reaching out to friends or family members for emotional support, or you had an emotional support animal, like a dog or your favorite cat that you got to snuggle with, okay? But you were definitely feeling disappointed about something after you gained clarity on a, some, on a situation with the Page of Swords. And I feel like your fears and your worries were accurate. I feel like in the recent past, Cancer, you were stressed out about a situation and you couldn't quite understand why you were dealing with all that crippling anxiety. You were fearing the worst case scenario. And then when you least expect it, it came true. Okay, with the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups. But now that you've learned from that and it happened, now it's time to let that go because you've got a great opportunity around the corner. But you need to let this Four of Pentacles go to let the new opportunity in, okay? Because the Four of Pentacles is having a blocked heart chakra. Not letting love in, not letting love out, due to regret, due to resentment, due to anger, due to jealousy, due to rage, okay? Someone hurt you, Cancer. Someone hurt you and they hurt you badly. Or you gave a lot of your time to a, a job situation, expecting it to move you up ahead, and something just didn't work out for you and you're disappointed, but you're still holding on to it because you don't like knowing that you wasted all that time and you didn't gain what you were looking for out of it. But you've got a new opportunity here, but how can you see this new opportunity, Cancer, if you're looking down? Look at you right here with the Five of Pentacles. You may feel like someone abandoned you. 
You may feel like your money is not right. You may feel like you're isolated from everyone and you have not of not a friend in the world. You have someone right here though, but you're not looking up to see them or whatever it is. Some of you could be a passed over uh, family member that is by your side or a spirit guide. You're never alone, Cancer, is basically what I'm getting at. You just, you're not looking up to see the abundance in front of you. With all these repeated fives, I'm definitely feeling a Cancer that has gone through a lot of challenges and a lot of conflict in the last five or so months. And those challenges are actually bringing you a lot of positive changes, okay? But you gotta look up and see what is in front of you, which is this Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is something stable. It's something grounded. It's something tangible. You can feel it. You can see it. It may be money in your bank. It may be a new business opportunity. It may be a loan. It may be a friendship that turns into something more. But it's there. It's there for you to grab with your little pincher claws. But you gotta look up. You've got to look up. Okay, and not only do you have that opportunity right in front of you, and it's in the beating heart of the spread. It's in the, the dead center. Ba boom. You also have the Ace of Wands, what you don't see coming. So that's two new beginnings. One that's going to make you feel passionate and alive and energized and, and possibly sexualized. And another one that's going to make you feel stable and grounded and secure. Look at all that amazing energy that's heading your way. But you can't get to it if you're not looking at it. Both of these cards show you looking down. Looking down at the past situation. Looking down at what whatever this was did to you. Use what happened to you as fuel for a, an abundant new opportunity. Use what this situation was as fuel to ignite this new flame inside of you that's going to bring you a lot of life-changing opportunities. I mean, look at this cancer. I got the world card right here. The world card is all about closing chapters that are no longer needed because you already learned everything you needed to learn and then sealing it shut, locking it up, and throwing away the key and having a new start. I can picture a little Krabby Patty in a, you know, 10 by 13 room, just punching at the ceiling, feeling caved in, saying, let me out, I have more potential than this. I do not deserve to be sitting here feeling sad about everything. I want my potential to be reached. And that's the world card. You may have some fixed energy in your birth chart, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius, or you're getting help from a fixed energy that's helping you motivate yourself. I am a Leo after all. Fix energy, hi. So maybe maybe this is something that's gonna help you, okay? And I also have the Six of Wands right here, Jupiter and Leo. So I feel like after this challenge subsides and you get your confidence back up, look what you're gonna be walking into. The Six of Wands, that's you finding victory after a challenge. This is you gaining notoriety in whatever you do for work. Maybe you're starting a new business with that Ace of Pentacles, which is gonna get you recognized. It's going to show people how strong and confident you really are and that you're just not a statistic of whatever that Five of Pentacles or Five of Cups made you feel like. Don't let what that happened mess with your, your fire, okay? You've got that burning fire inside of you, okay? You're getting some recognition very, very soon for whatever you're doing, whether it's a family situation, whether it's a work event, you're gonna be gaining a lot of recognition, but you need to look up. When you're stuck in a low vibrational energy, you attract more vibrational energy. You are what you attract. Okay, if you're sitting there going, life sucks, everybody sucks, everyone just shits on me, you're gonna get more life sucks, more shit on you, and more bad energy. But when you're feeling optimistic and you feel like there's something good out there for you and you can feel it and you can believe it, you attract it, okay? Law of attraction is no joke, you guys. I mention this all the time. Look up Esther Hicks, or sometimes it's under Abram Hicks, okay? Law of attraction is no joke. Energy is energy. You've got this in the heart of your spread. Let it feel its way into your heart as well. Okay, feel it in your soul, feel it in your heart that you've got a really amazing opportunity that is there for the, your taking, okay? And you might have a little love interest by you too. Just saying. The Page of Cups is a 
cute little flirty thing. Not calling your person a cute little flirty thing. I'm just saying there's going to be communication heading your way that's going to make you feel really good and curious and, and excited again. You see how this boy is staring at this fish like, oh wow, that's exciting. I wasn't expecting that fish to pop out. I feel like there's going to be someone you're going to be meeting very soon or you're already talking to this person and things may start off innocent and unexpected and then poof, all of a sudden it becomes very passionate and very stable and exciting. Okay, this is Pisces energy, but it could be another Cancerian or a Scorpio or it doesn't have to be a water sign. It could just be someone that's like very curious about you and wanting to know what's going on with you because you're getting a lot of attention, Cancer. That Six of Wands is nothing to be shy about. That's getting a lot of attention from your peers, uh, people who are looking to date, or recognition from your public. If you're in a job that you know gets you a lot of attention from uh, everyday people out in the world, okay, you're rising up. You're getting out of this dark abyss that the Five of Cups put you in, and you know, getting out of being comfortable with this Five of Pentacles. If your money hasn't been improving, you've got money heading your way. You just need to believe it. You need to believe it. Okay? Because that sun and the outcome is beautiful. But you need to lift these burdens before you can have that new Ace of Wands. Because what you may not know about the Ten of Wands, I mean, you, you would if you're um, another tarot reader out there or you're learning tarot. But the Ten of Wands means is taking those ten rods putting them into the tower, letting them blow up so that you can grab a fresh new wand for a new beginning to feel re-excited really again. I don't want my Krabby Patties walking around feeling stressed out and burdened. So if you're not being you know, appreciated at your work but you have another opportunity that could bring you a lot of stability, a lot of success, go for it. Always make sure you have something stable in place before you tell your company or your boss to go pound sand. Or if you're in an unhealthy relationship where you feel more sadness than happiness, let it go. Find your happiness, find your, your abundance. Now, if this is just in relation to some sort of insecurity that you may have because you keep on getting kicked down um, and whenever you're down, people kick you even more down, you're, you're just gonna need to forgive whatever these people did to you because forgiveness is the first step to unblocking that heart chakra. The biggest clog you can have in your heart chakra is anger, not forgiving somebody. Once you forgive someone, it starts unblocking, it starts making room for new love to come in in its place, okay? We've all been there, Cancer. I don't talk out of my ass. I've been in the same situations as you, okay? That's why I've been put here to do these readings because I can give the, ex the advice that you need. And the cards are telling me what to tell you. Now, the Two of Pentacles is here. With the Two of Pentacles being here, there's going to be a situation coming up for you in your near future where you're gonna have to make a decision, Cancer. You're gonna have to weigh out the pros and cons though, of course, be very, very mindful of not rushing into a decision. So the Two of Pentacles is that energy of having two opportunities in your hand, much like the bunny with the Two Pentacles. You've got pros, cons. You got wills, won't. You got do's, don'ts. You got can, can't. Stay away from can't and stay towards can. Okay, when you, when you stay in the, in the can, opportunities just open up for you. I always feel like you have the power to have everything that you want. Nobody is better than the other person. Nobody was born with more success potential than the other. Some may have had an easier route, like if you were born in a millionaire, millionaire family or something like that, but spirit gave us all the ability to have happiness and success in our lives. Okay, we are all manifestors when we believe in our own skills and power. So that sun outcome is yours for the take and if you want it. A new beginning where you feel vibrant, you feel fresh. You've got some good ass people around you that really want their Krabby Patty smiling, okay? You may have been surrounding people that weren't really happy for you. So I'm gonna clarify. Now I got the Eight of Cups on the bottom of this deck. This is you, you know, acknowledging defeat and walking away from something that you were putting too much time into that wasn't bringing you a lot of happiness. Now look at this card really quick, Cancer. This is supposed to be the bottom of an ocean bed where you see fishes and you see cancers like you or sea animals. 
but all you see here is what looks like a desert but it's not a desert it's just there's no more emotions um, to fill up this this ocean up or you know what I mean no more water this tells me that your emotions for whatever you're needing to walk away from has already been bone dry all you need to do is walk away from it and heal and open the door to new opportunities you need to let it go cancer let it go pull an also on whatever it's going what whatever you're dealing with let it go so what is the four of pentacles in cancer's challenge whoa five of wands look at that whatever you're holding on to brings you a lot of anger brings you a lot of sadness brings you a lot of jealousy possessiveness it's negative energy that keeps you low vibrating judgment in reverse page of cups in reverse you're not making some sort of decision and it's blocking whatever this page of cups is from coming in remember you have the page of cups right here right it's in the upright if you look up and see it but since you're holding on to something that no longer is needed to be held on to you're blocking this page of cups it's in reverse now but if you make some sort of firm decision to go through a major death and rebirth with a judgment in the upright, you're going to have a chance for a new beginning. Okay? Someone doesn't have your best interest with that five of wands. And if it's not a someone, it's your confidence. Maybe that five of wands is just inner conflict that you have for yourself. Maybe I'm picking up on a Cancerian that has been bullied all of their life and has always been told, you'll never amount to anything. You're not good enough for anything. Why don't you just go cry in the corner like you always do or something like that. Maybe you are bullied and I'm sorry if that's the case, but now it's time to use that as a way to fuel the fire for a exciting new opportunity for you. Light that match, Cancer. So let me dig into the Nine of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Page of Swords, please. Six of Cups and the Hanged Man. Yeah, you were dealing with some sort of past energy. Oh, my Lanta, the devil. Capricorn energy. Now, I'm not calling your past person the devil, but there's something from your past that was toxic, that was negative, that was draining your positive energy out of you, squeezing you dry, leaving you with no hope, no, no success in sight. You started picking on yourself because you just felt like you weren't good enough. Now the devil is that, that negative parasite that latches onto you and is like a devil on your shoulder when you have an angel on your opposite shoulder. That devil on your shoulder tells you, Psst, cancer, you'll never amount to anything. Psst, cancer, that person will never like you. Psst, cancer, you might as well give up. While, why try? When you should be listening to the angel on your other shoulder that's telling you you are good enough, you are strong, you are worthy. Okay? And look up and see what you have in front of you. So, let's take a look at this page of cups, shall we? Let's take a look at this page of cups for cancer and their current energy. You've got someone that, whoa. The Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. You've got someone that's going to be wanting a really amazing opportunity with you with the Ace of Pentacles. Or you've got a new opportunity that's going to bring you a lot of financial abundance. Because I was clarifying the Page of Cups, which is next to the Ace of Pentacles, and I got the Ace of Pentacles as the clarifier. And the Eight of Pentacles is putting all of your time and energy into something that you feel like is going to work out for you. Putting in that effort, that strength, Ooh, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. This could lead to a commitment, or if this is a business situation, it's going to allow you to learn a lot about yourself and to just gain the knowledge and power that you need to have the stability that you are looking for and stand strong. Look at this card. Does this card show a cat that looks weak and looks scared and looks anxious and looks like they have money problems or love problems? No, it's someone that's standing strong because everything's just copacetic because they made it that way. They made sure to remove negative energies from their life and to open themselves to positive energies. You are what you attract. You only have yourself to blame for any failure. Okay? You got to stand up for yourself, Cancer. What's the Ace of Pentacles? I know some things can be out of our control too, but... Six of Wands, that Ace of Pentacles is connected to the Six of Wands. Victory, success, after a battle. Just don't get in your head with that Eight of Swords, Cancer. Look at that. 
That eight of swords is similar to the nine of swords. It's crippling anxiety. It's feeling stuck. It's feeling feeling like everything's out to get to get you. Look at all these branches keeping this cat pinned down. I'm picking up on a cancer that feels like, what's the point? Everything I do doesn't work out. What's the point? Everything I touch turns to shit. What's the point? Nobody ever is there for me. Get out of that energy because the Eight of Swords is the daytime energy to the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords is that energy of staying up late at night, tossing and turning, just thinking about your life and feeling like it's never getting any better. It's never getting any better. Why try? Why try? Why try? You got to get out of that energy. You got, you got to, because the, the way your life is heading could be abundance. Okay. But you're going to have to weigh out a decision to release something that no longer is needed. It may be a person that you may need to walk away from. It may be a job. It may be an insecurity. It may be old memories of when you were bullied as a kid. It, whatever it is that's keeping your heart chakra blocked needs to be released. Okay, and then everything's just gonna work out for you. Okay, give me some cards for the future outcome. Whoa. There's that four of pentacles again. Okay, be mindful of that. The eight of cups landed in reverse. So, I feel like if you guys don't let go of what needs to be let go of in your life, you're, you're going to go back to it with the eight of cups in reverse and still look unhappy. Look how unhappy you look in the, all these cards. That's not a happy cancer. I want my Krabby Patty smiling. You guys are so sweet when you're feeling good about yourself and when you're being taken good care of. I have so many cancer friends and you guys are so sweet and caring and loving and nurturing, but sometimes you put yourself last and you need to stop that. Okay, give me a card on the sun. Give me a card on the sun, please, for Cancer's outcome. Give me a card on the sun for Cancer's outcome. The Two of Cups and the King of Cups. Look at that. I'm getting heavy Pisces energy here. The King of Cups is someone that has unconditional love, true love. Meeting someone that's going to respect you, love you, treat you the way you deserve. And I feel like the King of Cups is alluding to you being at your best. So if this isn't a love person that's coming into your life, this is my cancer is just feeling at their best emotionally, feeling emotionally balanced, emotionally mature, feeling like everything's good. Look at this. This is a far cry from this, from your energy from the past. So you've got a lot of positive changes heading your way and possibly someone that's going to help you. This could be a business partnership. This could be a relationship. It could be a family member or a friend. It's someone that cares about you greatly and wants you happy and strong with the strength card, Leo energy. So let's get a card on that Ace of Wands. Come on. The King of Wands. And the strength card on the bottom again. Some of you guys are definitely like on the cusp of Cancer Leo energy or all of these positive changes that you're working on yourself are going to be noticed prevalently during Leo season. Okay? You're going to notice all of your fruits of your labor during Leo season, I feel like. After you get past whatever this was that brought you down. So take the next six weeks or so to recover from whatever this was that hurt you. Do the internal work for yourself. And then Leo season, boom. You're going to come out stronger than ever. Feeling vibrant, feeling successful, feeling like everything you touch turns to success. Okay? You just need to believe in yourself, Cancer. You need to believe in yourself as we believe in you. Okay? I freaking love you guys. Um, if this resonates, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you want me to get extra nosier, I will leave the link to the extended at the top of the comments. But if, if this is where I leave you, namaste. I love you. Bye.